outfit for today. I've got this dress from Meshki, glasses of Princess Polly, and then I need to get some shoes, and then bag is Loewe. I'm gonna go to lunch. It's This is a Nobu or you can eat buffet. Alright, I'm about to go out. We're heading over to our cousins to go hang out, play some poker because it's just a new tradition that we have. We also start playing Mahjong every week as well, which is really fun. This is my outfit, very chill. I just have like gym gear on. I've got Crop Shop Boutique. This is Lululemon. This is like Brandy Melville. I went to Lulu's earlier today and I got some pastries. So I think I'm gonna bring some over. Got a sourdough bread. It's huge. I bought, there's a croissant in there, which I've eaten. I think I'll bring this over. It's like a Basque cheesecake. What time are you guys going to be having? 1-3! Ah, Bullshit! Ah, take it back! What the fuck? <laughs> Happy New Year! Even though it's already February, I didn't get to say that properly and yeah, I just hope you guys are having a really good start to your year. Um, this is an incredibly busy week for me. I have uni that resumes next week, but I haven't gotten approval for my languages studies, which I was talking about last year, so I'm a bit concerned what I should do about that. And someone was telling me that language studies isn't just purely on the language either. And I want to be focusing on learning Chinese rather than like the history and all of that stuff, which is really interesting as well. But I just think for me, I really just want to do like the actual like language studies, like yeah, writing, reading, listening, all of that. I need to figure out what I'm planning on doing because that's what I was going to do this year. Last I paused my major, so I'm a bit unsure. I'm also going to New York next week, which is like absolutely insane because I just didn't see that coming. I'm going for New York Fashion Week with a friend and I'm so excited. <laughs> it's just so spontaneous, but I was like, I have to go. I'm in a really good spot mentally right now, so I'm like so content and happy and I feel really good about myself. And it's all because I worked on myself really hard for like the last like six months of last year. And like, I'm telling you, I've like literally transformed my entire self. I was so angsty like last year, but now like, no, <laughs> there's no more angstiness. I just feel so confident and so good about myself. A lot can change in a couple of months. You just have to work on it. If you're looking for a guide on how to evolve and like level up and also like get out of a rut, I have a video I filmed like recently here. It's probably like one of the most informational videos I've like filmed ever on my channel. And it's my literal Bible to how I change my life in terms of like my mindset, my life, and just like how I go about like my daily things and achieve everything that I want to achieve. You're really just shifting energies so that you can be your best self. And when you show up and become your best self, that's when you can do like everything and anything. I'm gonna go give outside a little vacuum and clean up a little bit. I 
I just cleaned up the entire vanity and I've just got some stuff. So I organized it kind of just by like what I normally use. So I got my base, lips, some eyes and eyebrows, hand cream, foundation, base, some lip products. These are my eyeshadows. I love these palettes. This one is my current all time favorite. I use this like all the time because there's just so many like soft pink colors, which I really like. I have a little compact mirror some highlighter, bronzer, and then here I just have my handheld mirror, some other little bits and accessories, and then foundation, concealer. This is the best concealer ever. Nobody can tell me otherwise, it's so high coverage. Some powder, some more foundation, and that's everything inside of my vanity. Okay, I'm gonna go clean up the rest of the apartment now, but I'll link this vanity down below because I get so many questions on this. I'll link this vanity down below and also this mirror is not like part of the vanity. So you have to buy this separately. This is from Timu. I'll also link this down below. I'm gonna go clean up the apartment now, go get ready. And I'm gonna go clean up the apartment now and make it nice and tidy. I'm editing my 30 day reset challenge and I can't wait for you guys to see the series because I've been filming it for like the whole month and it took me like just so much more effort than I thought it would take but it's fine. I'm looking forward to you guys experiencing it and doing the challenge with me. Hopefully it gives you a sense of motivation and will to try for yourself this year. I'm about to go into a meeting for something really exciting coming up in the next five-ish weeks. I'm going on this really exciting trip and I can't wait to share it with you guys. It's to this island called Cook Islands. I'm gonna hop on a meeting with the team and sort everything out. Hi, nice to meet you. I was wondering if there were more details about the itinerary. I'm gonna clean up the apartment a little bit because it's just a little messy and it's a little dusty here as well. Oh my god, hi! <laughs> Look at my precious. Nori. Nori. She turned one somewhat recently. Are you tiny baby? I'm gonna put away these books. This is my little bookshelf stack and I forgot where I got this from but I'll try link it down below if I remember but it's really cool you can switch all of these shelves out so they face the same way but I have it going like a little spiral because it looks like cooler that way. <laughs> I planted this sweet potato plant and it grew so much already like it was literally this big before but now it's huge but I just need to figure out what is eating it. My broccoli's just crazy now so I'm gonna get rid of that and this right here looks like it can be eaten so I'm gonna cut some of this off. My spring onion is going absolutely crazy here. I definitely think we need to cut some of this. ever i was on tiktok and i kept seeing japanese beauty products and then people were just like saying things are really good and i just started getting things so first of all this foundation i'm not wearing anything right now by the way i also have a filter on so that's why my skin might look clear this foundation apparently it's amazing and i can vouch for that because this is my new favorite foundation i got this premium hydrating lotion and i saw this everywhere and i use this 
religiously now because it's actually amazing. It's a water-based serum and it feels really nice on your skin. I bought this matching like cream product. There was this other one which I'm not actually sure what the main difference between these two are but they're from the same brand. This is an oil cleanser which is super popular. Melty Shampoo, the famous hair oil. This is like everywhere on my for you page and I really want to try it because I'm trying to look after my hair a bit more nowadays um just because I literally didn't do anything before and now I'm like trying to do everything for it because I realize that hair care actually matters and I've got these three hair products as well because partially the packaging was really cute but also heard really great things. I got two of these like hair flyaway things and these work really well like I have this um, pink one. Let me see if I can find it. This is the pink one. So this is just like the regular one. The blue one's like super strong. You see like these flyaways back here. Like all you do is just stroke them down and they're literally gone. And it doesn't leave your hair feeling really greasy or heavy either. It's like this also lasts the whole night which is crazy. And that's only like a couple dollars too. Oh, I got this giant version of the lotion. Moisture treatment. I always see this when I go to Japan. I just never knew it was popular. Oh my god, I'm really excited about this one actually. These are like these little eye rollers. And I'm pretty sure you keep it cold. And you can like roll it in your eyes like this. And it just like helps with like de-puffing and things. So this used to be one of my favorite products. It's like this product that gets rid of like your blackheads. Vitamin C cream. Pyongyang Yu Cleansing Foam. I use this like every day currently. I rotate between this and another one. Some more no strips. My favorite eyeliner by McQueen. And it's so affordable. I think it's like $7. Got two of them. And then this last one is just this random hair product that I also saw was really popular. If you can see, I'm really trying to look after my hair these days. That is everything that I got from Yes Style and I'm just so excited to like try all this out, like especially the makeup and stuff. I look atrocious today, oh my god. <laughs> You're like, no makeup, and I'm like, yup. You look good. These look so amazing though, thank you so much. No worries. Oh my god. I'm with Bella, and we're about to go to our Pilates class. We're gonna do an intermediate class, which is like a bit harder than the one that we normally do. You're not even a far. This is my outfit. I'm just wearing this dress. It looks super 
cute and summery. I feel like it matches the vibe of the jewelry as well. It's officially two days before I go to New York and I have a campaign to shoot today for Pandora, which I'm really excited for. I'm wearing their jewelry right now. It's so beautiful. Got a ring. I've got their bracelet on and I'm going into the city to shoot in their store. So I'm gonna go now. I just got back home. I was shooting earlier this morning at Pandora for a collaboration that I'm doing with them. And I think that's probably gonna go live pretty soon. I need to pack for New York, so I've got my clothes back here. This is my little clothes rack of some of my outfit options. And it's pretty cold there at the moment, so I kind of need to figure out like what outfits I want to wear because I am gonna be there for New York Fashion Week and I'm just struggling to find some outfits because honestly, I'm gonna be really cold. So I'm just hoping and praying that, you know, it's gonna be okay. Yeah, I made this little catalog of clothes on my phone, which is so cute, because I saw Morgan, or is her name Morgan Riddle? My boyfriend plays tennis and she's like always traveling and she like has this little catalog that she does. And so I was like, I need that for when I go away because it's so much easier to pick an outfit rather than like having to think of like, oh my God, what did I bring? So I started doing that. Um, I need to take a few more photos of outfits so I can add it to my little catalog. But yeah, there's so much to pack, so I'm gonna go get to it right now. This is one of the outfits that I'm gonna be wearing. I think it's like this little house to see me dress, this coat, some booties, and like honestly, when it's winter time, you should invest in some good coats because the coat should carry the outfit, especially in like moments when you have like events or like things that are going on. Like if you have a good standout coat, you don't really have to worry about what you're wearing underneath. So far I have all of this, some shoes, and then I've packed like some of this bag. So inside of here, I just have like smaller jackets and like little bag, all these tiny little things like shirt, scarves, that fun stuff. I'm gonna continue packing and find my outfits. coats because basically I've got two coats they're pretty similar to be honest but just they're a bit different I don't know if that's silly so I think I'm gonna think about it for a minute okay packing's going good go I feel like I've narrowed down a lot of the things like honestly all those jackets I'm probably not gonna bring that pink one probably not gonna bring that brown one over there um, because I like these white ones and I'm probably only gonna wear these ones. I wanna bring this one jacket from Zara so bad, but I just know that if I have this white coat and I have two white coats, like I'm probably not gonna wear this. And like, you see what I mean? Like these are really big and cute as well, but I don't know if like the colors are a bit too much. Um, I have this baby pink one as well. They're all Max Mara. They're beautiful, just, I don't know if it suits the- Got some parcels. I've heard so many good things about this foundation stick and it has like this really nice blurry effect on your skin apparently. So I'm pretty sure this is a primer. Pump it up. Okay, this next one I'm so excited for because I know what this is. This is the top and the bottom. I can't wait to have somewhere to wear this to. I don't know where, but It'll be somewhere. I also bought a Nike cap the other day because I'm starting golf and tennis lessons. I played tennis when I was younger and I really like golf because I don't have to move around. I'm not a very like athletic person, but if it's form that I can focus on, oh boy, like I'm willing to do that. But I'm doing tennis because my friends really want me to and my boyfriend really wants me to, so. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here because I'm going to New York tomorrow and I will see you guys there. Get ready for the New York vlogs, guys. And also get ready for my 30 day reset challenge. I'm gonna be starting to post that from next week. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video and I'll see you guys in New York for New York Fashion Week.